When we reviewed our monetary policy strategy, we launched the ECB Listens Portal, where people could express their views and concerns about our policies. But only 22% of the responses we received were from women. And we have to ask ourselves, why is that? One explanation might be that there is still an existing difference between women and men in what we call financial literacy. That is the knowledge of products like mortgage and bank loans. Now, the good news is that there has been clear progress in access of women to education. But there is, however, still a gender gap, a gender gap in access to financial services globally. Women, for example, globally are 9% less likely to have a bank account than men. Improving the access to financial knowledge and financial services is a priority for us at the ECB. It directly affects our ability to fulfill our tasks. In order to keep prices stable, it is essential that people trust us. And for this, they need to understand what we do and why. In the past, we mainly communicated to experts, and most of them were men. But now we are pushing for a change. We want to communicate more clearly to a broader audience and especially to women. And if we talk more to women, we learn more from women and about their concerns. And these are different. In the ECB uh, Listens portal that Isabel Schnabel, my colleague, was uh, referring to, women have been more vocal on issues such as climate change, inequality and job security. And, and actually women are more vulnerable in these respects. So it is absolutely crucial that we listen carefully to them. Maybe it is not a coincidence that climate change action at the ECB has been stepped up under a female president. Recent ECB research shows that carbon emissions at companies with a higher share of women in their leadership were by around 5% lower than at companies that had fewer women in their management. Applying a gender lens to climate action not only supports the fight against climate change, it also advances gender equality. It is time that we make sure that women are properly represented in science, in research, in key jobs that are so important for the transition to a greener economy. And this applies also to us, the European Central Bank, and to the banks that we supervise.